Hello everyone, welcome to a breaking news video. Late last night I exclusively revealed that Saints coach Brett Ratton has been sacked after a board review, the long external review they had. Jeff Walsh was the key part in getting Brett Ratton sacked. It'd be publicly denied that he wasn't a part of it, but he has. And as of last night, Brett Ratton was officially sacked as the St Kilda coach. Now people are going to say, oh, Cal Toomey said this, Cal Toomey wrote it. If you want to be all technical like you try to do try to do to me, he wrote, Cal wrote, set to part ways. I wrote, has been sacked. And St Kilda confirmed that today. And Brett Ratton has been sacked. Now, I had a campaign saying Ratton out, hashtag Ratton out. And I had said all along that St Kilda had rushed the call on Brett Ratton. Why did they need to rush? I said Clarko was available, everything like that. Now, clearly that's not the case now. He's at North. But... Now, they needed to go for someone. Is it harsh? Probably. Do they have to pay him out a lot? No. Apparently, John Ralph was saying that, depending on what type of level of coach you've been in, how many wins and all that, and how long you've been there, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, the point is, he's saying that Rand's only been paid out three to six months. Was it odd to re-sign him earlier on, mid-season, and sack him now? No. Because Jeff Walsh was a part of the decision-making right now to sack him. Jeff Walsh was not part of the decision to re-sign him mid-year. Was Simon Lethlane in the present Andrew Bassett? Yes. But they had a long, extensive review since July, or since August, towards the end of the season, and this is a decision they've made. I don't mind the move. Ratton has no plan B. How many times have I said on my pages in frustration in the second half of the year, the Ratton has no plan B. Its memory floats back late in the quarters all the time. That's it. No other moves. Battle was playing more. Backline should have played forward when they had injuries. Um, the recruiting isn't great at times. But mainly, Brett Ratton is to blame because the coaching hasn't been great. No change of structures, no nothing. He just kept on running with the flow, going out, it will be better. Or, you know, he always just tries to find a positive. Even when three quarters of the game is negative. He'll spot out the last certain ten minutes of a quarter going, Oh, it was good we finished off well. Oh, yeah, we well, looks good early, but unfortunately the second half wasn't great. You know, cut the bullshit. Yes, he's a great person, everyone. We all know that. But nice guys finish last. The saying goes. And um, the expectations for St Kilda are higher than what they were. And unfortunately, we did not deliver on that. So the right move has been made of Brett Ratton being let go. I feel, feel for him, sure. But it happens to everybody. So unfortunately, it's happened for Rats right now. So thank you for 2020 in particular, Rats. But it was time to go. And they should never have re-signed you two months ago or three months ago, 99 days ago. But we move on. Now, I can also exclusively reveal that Ross Lyon is the firm favourite, a strong chance to be the next coach of the St Kilda Football Club. Now, St Kilda did say in their presser today that, you know, oh, rats, oh, they haven't made a decision. They said blah, blah, blah. They've got to tell you that. They've already made up their mind. Late last night, they had contenders. And this morning, I was confirmed of who it was. And I'm very confident to say that next, next coach for the Saints will be Ross Lyon, the former coach. Now, people could say, oh, why not Uze? Why not Mark McVeigh? Lenny Hayes, Robert Harvey. They're all untried, and you'd just be kind of in the same position as Ratton in a way. An experienced coach is the way to go. I would have thought Nathan Buckley would have been one they could have sounded out, and they probably, they have spoke to Bucks. They, 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 they're, going, they're going to deny all this, but they spoke to Buckley, they spoke to Ross Lyon, and then those other candidates that are listed. But it's very likely that Ross Lyon is the new coach of the Saints. What do I think of this move? If it does eventually, which is looking very, very likely, nothing signed, sealed, and delivered yet, but pretty strong talk that it is going to be the case. When that's the case, I'm happy with it. Was I disappointed in Ross Lyon when he left the Saints the first time and went to Freo and left and killed a blindsided? Sure. Am I surprised and killed us considering him? Yes and no. It's all depending on who the board members were at the time that Ross Lyon left St Kilda 
and whether any of those board members remain at the club right now. Now, personally, I love the move. Ross is very outspoken, and, you know, coaches these days are very soft. You need a hard, firm, definitive coach that won't accept mediocrity like Ratton did. He won't accept bullshit. He won't say, oh, better luck next time, mate, blah, blah, blah. He won't give him chance after chance after chance. If you fuck up under Ross Liner's coach, you will be dropped, no matter who you are. That's why I'm happy that Ross is very likely going to be the next coach of the Saints. Because he's tough, he's hard, he won't make excuses for the bullshit. He'll say he'll be upfront and honest to you. See, that's what David Noble got sacked for, because he was hard, or part of the reason why. It was tough and hard on some of the North players, and some of them were really sensitive to what David Noble said about the ice baths and performances as Horn Francis and co were upset with him. Again, tough up. People, the players these days, want everything their way and anything negative towards them they don't like. So that's why Ross Lyon would be the perfect coach for the Saints. And he's got a good track record to prove that. He got us to the 09 and 10 granny. Was it our way? No. We can talk about Tom Hawkins in the post, about the draw, being there, being a replay. Had there not been a replay, we would have won. I mean, you all know it. About the momentum. But we digress, and then Ross coached and killed the finals in 2012, left when he did, haven't made it since 2020, but Ratton to move on was the right move in the end. Look, what I'll say was this, I've been making these views for weeks and months and pretty much all year, saying that Ratton needs to go. And finally, they've listened, albeit maybe three months too late, but if you get Ross Lyon, all the media talk, they're bashing St Kilda, which is no surprise. They bag St Kilda all the time. I'm saying it for a reason that I want us to do well. They're doing it because they hope we fail. The 150th year is an important time for the club. If they want to be fair to come, they need a tough coach who won't accept mediocrity, bullshit, and be all lovey-dovey with them. We need a serious coach who will be serious in what they do and do what's best for the club and not worry about hurting a few people's feelings. Ross, the boss, is very likely to be the next coach of the Saints. And trust me when I say this will be a great move. Let me know what you think, guys and girls, down below. Ross Lyon, the very likely to be the new coach. And obviously, Brett Rand has just been sacked officially this morning. Thank you all. Please subscribe to the channel. I want to hit 50 likes for this video. Subscribe to the channel. Aim at 2,000 by the end of the season, or end of the year, rather. Till next time, thank you and take care. And come on, please welcome Ross. The boss!